What I'm going to tell you is a story about someone who has pushed Shogun Method to the limit to push a girl to cuck her boyfriend. For the record, I don't endorse this sort of usage of Shogun Method. It shows how far you can go with this knowledge, and indeed, you can go too far. So, if you're easily offended by the true nature of humans, you should probably exit this video. If not, get ready for a masterclass on how to get a girl to cheat on her boyfriend. The Dark Shogun, the self-styled mastermind strategist seducer with a twisted mind, has cooked up a multi-layered, manipulative blueprint for making a woman drop her boyfriend like a bad habit and come crawling to him. It's a plan built on psychological tactics, strategic mind games, and relentless patience, all crafted to break down any loyalty she thinks she has for her boyfriend. Here's how the Dark Shogun, in all his morally questionable glory, plans to do it. The Dark Shogun isn't one to rush into things, especially when there's seduction involved. The first step is showing her, without ever saying it outright, that her current boyfriend is the most basic, uninspired guy she could be with. The Dark Shogun knows he has to come across as the complete opposite. He's planned out a strategy to undermine her satisfaction with her boyfriend by presenting himself as a mysterious, exciting, and perceptive alternative. And he composes this strategy in two Shogun method tactics. Tactic number one is highlighting her boyfriend's shortcomings. The Dark Shogun won't directly criticize the boyfriend. He's smarter than that. Instead, he'll lead conversations that indirectly prompt her to notice her boyfriend's flaws. For instance, he might casually bring up topics that showcase the qualities her boyfriend lacks, whether it's ambition, confidence, or a sense of humor. With a few subtle comparisons, she'll see the Dark Shogun as the obvious upgrade. Tactic number two is practicing the art of active listening. Most people, the Dark Shogun knows, barely listen. They're just waiting for their turn to talk. But he is no amateur. He'll hang on her every word, making her feel truly heard, maybe for the first time in a long while. He'll remember the little things, echo back her frustrations, and show empathy, all the while nudging her to think, why doesn't my boyfriend get me like this? The Dark Shogun knows that once she feels understood by him, he's in her head for good. Now that the Dark Shogun has planted the seeds of doubt about her boyfriend, it's time to lay the foundation for emotional attachment. To make her willing to dump her boyfriend, she'll need to feel something stronger for the Dark Shogun than mere friendship. This phase is about creating shared memories and experiences that can't be ignored or dismissed as casual interactions. To execute this phase, he deploys two more Shogun method tactics. Tactic number one is to plan coincidental encounters. The Dark Shogun knows that to build a deep connection, he has to be part of her routine. He'll orchestrate frequent coincidental meetings, appearing at places she frequents, creating an illusion that fate is bringing them together. In her mind, the repeated encounters will solidify him as a fixture in her life, making it feel natural to confide in him and eventually depend on him emotionally. Tactic number two is creating highs and lows. Here's where things get devious. The Dark Shogun plans to take her on an emotional roller coaster by interspersing moments of charm with aloofness. One day he's attentive, flattering, and thoughtful. The next, he's distant, making her question what she did to lose his attention. This fluctuation of affection and indifference will mess with her emotions, leaving her craving his approval. The more she gets hooked on these highs and lows, the more she'll feel drawn to the Dark Shogun, and eventually, emotionally dependent. The third step in the strategy is to introduce plausible deniability. He wants to ensure she doesn't feel any guilt about ditching her boyfriend for him. This is where plausible deniability comes into play. He knows she'll need to justify her actions to herself to convince herself that leaving her boyfriend just happened. To get her there, the Dark Shogun will carefully construct scenarios where she feels like he's simply the better match for her. To do this, he deploys two more Shogun method tactics. The first tactic is to introduce shared vulnerability. The Dark Shogun will orchestrate situations where she can let her guard down, ideally over intimate settings like late-night conversations. By sharing personal stories that imply he's been through similar struggles or experiences, he'll create a sense of, we're in this together. This vulnerability breeds trust and a sense of destiny. Emotional closeness they've developed leads her to consider a future with him over her boyfriend. 
The second tactic is to create the Just Friends facade. To maintain plausible deniability, the Dark Shogun will frame their interactions under the guise of friendship. By doing this, he allows her to feel less guilty, convincing herself that she's not really doing anything wrong. After all, he's just a friend. But the Dark Shogun knows the line between friendship and attraction is thin, and by walking it carefully, he'll make it easy for her to step over when the time comes. With the foundation of emotional attachment and plausible deniability in place, the Dark Shogun moves into the fourth step of the grand strategy, actively dismantling her loyalty to her boyfriend. Now, he won't be blatant about it. Rather, he'll subtly exploit her doubts and frustrations, pushing her to see her boyfriend as unworthy of her loyalty. And he does this with two more Shogun method tactics. Tactic number one is negative association. The dark Shogun will bring up the worst aspects of her boyfriend in indirect ways. If she complains about something trivial, like her boyfriend's habit of leaving dishes in the sink, the dark Shogun will use it as a springboard to subtly emphasize how inconsiderate her boyfriend must be. Over time, these small nudges will accumulate, painting her boyfriend in an increasingly unflattering light until she begins viewing him as someone who simply doesn't deserve her. Tactic number two is the grass is greener technique. The dark Shogun will insinuate that life with him would be a breath of fresh air compared to her current relationship. He'll casually hint at activities he'd enjoy with a partner, alluding to the exciting relationship he could offer. Each suggestion reinforces that life with the dark Shogun would be more exciting, more fulfilling, and ultimately a better fit for her than what she currently has. The Dark Shogun's final move is to use emotional intensity to seal her attachment. With the groundwork in place, he'll take her on what he calls the emotional roller coaster. This involves a calculated mix of tension, excitement, and comfort that cements her emotional reliance on him. She won't just want to be with him, she'll feel she needs to be with him. The Dark Shogun executes two final Shogun method tactics to seal the deal. The first tactic is emotional push-pull. The Dark Shogun will heighten the tension with a push-pull dynamic. One minute, he'll give her his undivided attention. The next, he'll withdraw, leaving her feeling uncertain and hungry for his validation. This emotional back and forth will become addictive, creating a pattern where she constantly seeks his approval and reassurance ensuring her attachment deepens with each encounter. The second tactic is the infamous Shogun method, reverse friend zone. Finally, the dark Shogun will execute his pièce de résistance, the reverse friend zone. He'll friend zone her before she can do it to him. Just as things are heating up, he'll tell her they're better off as friends. This sudden declaration will send her spiralling, making her question everything and realise how much she actually wants to be with him. She'll be so determined to prove she's more than just a friend that she'll take the initiative to move the relationship forward, securing the Dark Shogun's victory in conquering her. By the time the Dark Shogun has pulled off this elaborate series of manoeuvres, she'll see her boyfriend as a mere shadow of what she truly desires. The Dark Shogun will have effectively hijacked her emotions, leading her to believe that she's acting on her own instincts and wants. Her attachment to him will be based on a meticulously crafted series of experiences designed to sever her loyalty to her boyfriend permanently. In the end, the Dark Shogun's approach isn't just about winning her over. It's about embedding himself so deeply into her emotional world that leaving her boyfriend isn't even a choice. It's a natural conclusion. The result is undeniable. She's now a woman who believes that the Dark Shogun is not only her best option, but also the only man who truly understands and satisfies her needs. The Dark Shogun's strategy is ruthless and relentless, leaving nothing to chance. He's crafted each step to dismantle her current relationship bit by bit, while positioning himself as her inevitable choice. It's a twisted game of seduction, and the Dark Shogun is more than ready to play. Do I condone this? Of course not. I'm aware that some Shoguns go rogue and purposely destroy relationships with my knowledge. This. How to get a girl to cheat on her boyfriend blueprint is a two-edged knife. How you're going to use Shogun method is ultimately your responsibility. Do no harm, because trust me, karma is real.